Hey guys, it's me teacher William. Now, in this video, we are going to study the origin of the universe. Our objective today is that you as a learner will be able to state the different hypotheses explaining the origin of the universe. So, are you now ready? The origin of the universe is the origin of everything. From the smallest particles, to the largest galaxies, to very existence of space, time and matter. Multiple science theories and also creation myths around the world had tried to explain its mysterious genesis. Theories of the universe are the following, 1. Creation myth, 2. Big Bang Theory, 3. Steady State Theory, 4. Pulsating Universe Theory. We are going to study all the four theories of the origin of the universe. And think of it. Which theory is true? We shall see at the end of this video. The creation myth, the creation myth is also known as creationist theory. It is a symbolic narrative of the beginning of the world as understood by a culture. These are handed down from generation to generation through oral traditions such as stories, poems and songs, and works of art, among others. The creationist theory states that God, the supreme being created the whole universe out of nothing. As it written in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 that God created the heaven and earth. The Big Bang Theory. The proponent of this theory were Alexander Friedman and George Lemaitre in 1920. According to the Big Bang Theory, around 13.7 billion years ago, there was nothing and nowhere. Then suddenly, due to random fluctuation in an empty void, there was a great explosion or expansion. The explosion sent space, time, matter and energy in all directions. The event is called, Big Bang. According to the proponents of the Big Bang Theory, all the matter and energy in the universe are crammed into a tiny compact point sometimes called singularity. As you can see in the video. From the tiny compact, it become hot and dense, and suddenly, begun to explode. The essential feature of the Big Bang Theory is the notion that the universe appeared around 13.7 billion years ago through colossal explosion. The occurrence of the Big Bang resulted into several events that led to the creation of forces and celestial bodies known today. From this explosion, all matter, energy, space and time were also created. There are two major stages of the universe right upon the explosion. Number one is the radiation era, which from the name itself, the presence or dominance of radiation. The second one is the matter era, which refers to the dominance of matter. Now, the era is divided into smaller stages called the epoch. Now let us see the figure, right after the explosion, different stages, occurred. Let us proceed to the the steady state theory. The steady state theory was first put forward in 1948 by British scientists Sir Herman Bondi, Thomas Gold, and Sir Fred Hoyle. Okay, so, in this theory, the universe is always expanding but maintaining a constant average density, with matter being continuously created to form new stars and galaxies at the same rate that old ones become unobservable as a consequence of their increasing distance and velocity of recession. Also, in this theory, the universe has always been the same since beginning and will remain in its present state until eternity. It further claims that new galaxies appear as a result of drifting apart of other galaxies. Now, let's have the pulsating universe theory. This is also known as oscillating theory. The oscillating theory was proposed by Russian-born U.S. cosmologist George Gamo. The pulsating universe combines with both the Big Bang and the Big Crunch as part of the cyclical event. The pulsating universe theory also says that the universe follows self-sustaining cycles such as expanding and contracting. The theory also states that after the universe has contracted to a certain size, explosions will occur and the universe will start expanding. The universe expands at a rapid rate with gravity and inertia and eventually inertia will run out and gravity will be left and will cause the universe to pull into itself and create a crunch.
Thank you for watching my video. I hope you learned. Please continue to support my tutorials by simply pressing the subscribe button, like the video, hit the notification bell for more video updates, and share to your friends. See you again on the next video tutorials. I am Teacher William. Once again, thank you very much.